sketch the graph of the polynomial function p of x equals x times x minus 2 cubed times x plus 1 squared. First thing we use is the uh, leading coefficient and the degree. That's going to tell us our end behavior. Now this is already in factored form for us, so our leading coefficient, we um, look at all of the x terms in our factored form, and if they have a constant in front of them, we're going to use those and multiply them using the exponents together to get leading coefficient. This one is very simple because uh, each x just has a 1 in front of them. So if you multiply 1 by itself however many times, you still get 1. So our leading coefficient is 1, which is positive. And a positive leading coefficient tells you that the right side is going up. So y approaches infinity, that means I'm going up, as x approaches infinity, meaning on the right side of the graph. Then we look at the degree, and the degree uh, here, when you have factored form, you just add up the exponents on each of the factors of x. So I've got a 2 plus 3 plus 1, and that's 6, uh, which is even. And an even degree tells me that the left side of the graph is the same as the right side of the graph. So here, the right side of the graph is going up. That means my left side of the graph will also be going up. So y approaches infinity, I'm going up, as x approaches negative infinity, meaning on the left side. Hey, then I'm already in factored form, so I can find my zeros. So from this first factor here, I've got just x equals 0, and that has a multiplicity of 1. And then in this, this next factor, I've got, if I set that equal to 0, I get x equals 2. And that has a multiplicity of 3, because the exponent there was 3. And then finally here, I've got if I solve that for so that equal to 0, I get x equals negative 1. And that has a multiplicity of 2, because the exponent on that factor is 2. So I am ready to uh, draw this. We start by drawing our end behavior, which is just that we're going up on both sides. So I know I'm going to be going up on the right, and I'm going to be going up on the left. And then I have my zeros. I've got a 0 at x equals 0, at x equals Two and at x equals negative 1. And I connect my, my end behavior to my zeros using the proper behavior um, near each of these zeros. So just next to these, I'm just going to list what they look like. So with the multiplicity of 1, that is x to the 1. That's just a line. So it's going to look like a line as we cross x equals 0. With multiplicity 3, that's a cubic. x to the 3 is a cubic. So it's going to look like a cubic. Um, at x equals 2, and for multiplicity of 2, that is a quadratic, okay, or a, a parabola. It's going to look like a parabola at x equals negative 1. And then I just come through and I uh, do each of those behaviors. So here at negative 1, I need to look like a, uh, a quadratic, so like a little parabola. And then at 0, I look like a line. Okay? I just I cross through like a line. Would. And then at uh, x equals 2, it needs to look like a cubic, so that's where it kind of flattens out for a moment and then continues on. And there is a, uh, a sketch of our uh, polynomial.